So in these two contexts, we use this simple future tense. One is to predict the when we predict the future actions based on some information, then we use uh, uh, this simple future term tends to express such actions. Second thing is when we are referring to inevitable future facts, that means which we cannot stop. So such actions also we express them in simple future tense and this is all about simple future. Now we take the second type, now we take the second type of the future tense that is future continuous. So here the structure of this future continuous is like this subject plus will will indicates this helping verb indicates that indicates the future tense will be plus present participle plus rest of the sentence so here we are using will be form to refer to future continuous here the main verb is in present participle form in this example he will be coming here so this is a sentence he will be coming here here will be is the uh, helping verb that we are using to construct the sim future continuous tense and this is coming is the main verb uh, which is like v plus in form that is present participle form we are using to construct the future continuous tense we are using will be as helping verb and coming as the main verb he will be coming here and see the negative statement that we are uh, constructing like uh, how to construct a negative statement of this uh, future continuous so here we are adding not in between this will and be to frame a future continuous uh, negative statement that is he will not be coming here in this sentence he is the subject will is the helping verb and we are adding not to this helping verb and we have added be form and also present participle of the main verb so here he will not be coming here this is the structure of negative sentence of the future continuous tense and now we'll just take that question form i mean like the structure of the question so what we do is we bring this helping verb to the front of the sentence to form the question will he be coming here this is the question will he be coming here so will he will is the helping verb and after that we place the subject after that be form after that the present participle form and then the rest of the sentence will he be coming here this is the question structure when it comes to the uses of this future continuous tense when we use this future continuous tense so here first thing is to talk about a temporary event in progress at some point in future to talk about a temporary event in progress at some point in future so see the example they this time next month this time next month this next month is referring to some future period time period i will be shopping in delhi so, so this this action will be in progress in a particular future time so to refer to such context we use this future continuous that means to refer to some action which will be in progress at some time in future that means this is the action and this is an indication for the future time period in some point of time in the future uh, action will be in progress so to refer to such kind of context we use this future continuous tense and also we have a second uses here for certain matter of course events in the future so for certain matter of course events in the future that means in any case i will be meeting you once again before i leave for india in any case for certain matter of course events in the future that means for a, part, a particular like you know uh, when you certainly feel that you are going to do something in future when you certainly feel that you are going to do something in future then we are keeping it in future continuous in any case i will be meeting you once again before i leave for london that means in a particular future point of time you'll do that 
I mean you are going to do that so to refer to such actions we use future continuous in two contexts we use this future continuous one is to refer a temporary event in progress at some point of time in future to refer that something will be in progress in a point of uh, um, at some point of time in future for example this time next month by this time next month I will be shopping in Delhi and see the second context here of course you are very certain that you are going to do something in future when you want to refer to such things then you can use future continuous in this example in any case I will be meeting you once again before I leave for London that means you are certain that you are going to meet that person before you leave that place so to express such type of things you know we use future continuous the third type of tense is the third type of future tense is future perfect tense and this is the third type of future tense the structure of this is as you know two things are here one is future indication the other one is perfect indication here will is a helping verb which indicates the future tense and have is the helping verb which indicates the perfect tense and as it is a future perfect tense so we are using both the helping verbs here he will have completed his project by Saturday he will have so future perfect tense as it is perfect tense we are using the main verb in v3 form he will have completed his project by Saturday so here the structure of the sentence is subject plus will have plus past participle plus the rest of the sentence to make make it a negative what we do is after the helping verb we add not to this he will not have been completed he will not he will not have been completed his project by Saturday he will not have been completed he will not have completed his project by Saturday here we are adding not in between this will and have to frame a negative statement when we take the question form what we do is we bring this will to the front of the sentence will he have completed his project by Saturday here helping verb will after that we are placing subject after that have and after that you know past participle form and then the rest of the sentence will have will he have completed his project by Saturday this is the question structure and now when we see the uses of this future perfect this future perfect tense is used to refer to an action or to an event in the past as seen in future in the past as seen in future that means don't get confused we'll just take an example so that you can easily understand this in five years time in five years that means coming five years in coming five years of time you know it will have doubled so what would have happened here we are just trying to refer that that means in future time what we feel that it would be done we are trying to refer through this future perfect tense in five years of time it will have doubled that means that particular thing whatever that you have invested would have been doubled so to express such actions we use this future perfect tense that means so in future like uh, in five years of time it will have been doubled that means in future at a particular time something would have happened so to express such kind of things we put that in future perfect tense and the last the last form of the uh, future I mean like last type of the future tense is future perfect continuous so here as you see the structure of the sentence would be like this so here they will have been writing essays for two hours so here we are using will to indicate future 
have to indicate perfect tense, been to indicate continuous and the main verb is in present participle form. So, 